I'm Brooke from the Chattanooga Public Library, and today we're going to talk about oviparous animals. What does oviparous mean? Oviparous animals are animals that lay eggs. Here's some examples of some of the animals that you might know of that lay eggs. Sea turtles. Alligators. frogs, fish like Nemo, spiders, and chickens. The life cycle of a chicken begins when a chick comes out of an egg. This is called hatching. Most of the time, people will get their brand new chicks from a farm supply store or by mail. Here's some cute little chicks eating their food. This is a while after they've been out of the egg. Sometimes little chicks will need a heat lamp if it's cold outside or if they need some help growing. They need to stay warm. When chicks are a little bit older, they can move to the coop. Chickens learn to return to their coop every night so they can grow and get stronger. Chickens like to roost up on a pole or a branch makes them feel safe from predators. When the hen is full grown, she can begin to lay eggs. This chicken is named Agatha, and she's working on laying an egg right now. Different hens may lay their eggs in a nest box or they may all lay at the same location. Don't worry, not all of these eggs were just laid by Agatha. She just laid one today. Different breeds of hens lay different colored eggs. There's a lot of variety in the color, ranging from white, brown, blue, green, dark brown, and even pink. These four hens are different breeds. Two of them are called Easter Eggers. Another one is an Americana, and the fourth is a Rhode Island Red. Look at this one with all the puffy cheeks. Her name is Butterball because of her puffy cheeks. She's an Americana, and you can tell that by the feathers on her face. Molly visiting with me while I'm reading my book. She's a Rhode Island Red, and you can tell by the solid red color of her feathers and the comb, or the red part, on the top of her head. <laughs> Together, these four chickens lay four different colored eggs. The dark brown probably belongs to the Rhode Island Red. The olive colored belongs to one of the Easter Eggers. The light brown belongs to another of the Easter Eggers and the blue belongs to the Americana. learn tricks. Look at Molly learning to jump up in the air to get the tasty treat that she really, really wants. Right. 
Butterball knows exactly who I am and often comes to visit me while I'm sitting and reading. She even lets me give her a pet or two because we're friends. Chickens can be really fun to watch. Here, Butterball has found a really tasty piece of food and the other chickens are chasing her to try to get it. Go Butterball, go! Uh-oh, I see somebody creeping up behind and Agatha steals the treat and takes off running. Way to go, Agatha. Sorry, Butterball. Now it's time for a little game of Guess How Many Eggs. How many did you guess? The answer is 29. And I've got a challenge for you. It's called the Rubber Egg Challenge. What you'll need is an egg, vinegar, and a bowl or cup. Just place your egg in the vinegar and leave it for 72 hours and see what happens. You should have an egg without the shell because the acid in the vinegar will have dissolved the shell. Then, believe it or not, you can actually bounce the egg on the ground because the internal membrane is still there and is nice and tough. Happy bouncing! At the Chattanooga Public Library, we have lots of books about oviparous animals, so just go to chatlibrary.org and place some books on hold, and you can come pick them up at your favorite branch. Thanks for joining us.